Scene seven, in which I get paid to give pleasure. Hmm. Scene one, I see her enter the room. Unsure of her surroundings, her confidence buried beneath a shroud of undesirable encounters with people like me. But I know what she does not. 60 minutes with me and she will have forgotten why she ever stopped coming. <laughs> Scene two, in which I have but 10 seconds to gain her trust. So as I approach her, I must keep my composure. I give her my name. Extend my hand, coercing her to rise. Her eyes meet mine as if offering up her last prayer, and I silently swear by the time I am finished, she will have fallen in love. Scene three, in which I tell her I prefer her clean before we begin, so I escort her into the washroom watch as her hair cascades around her neck, and down her shoulder I hold her head, lay her back, and wash her. Scalp tingling, blood circulating, short and sweet to the finish. I tell her to go into the other room. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> Scene four. I enter from behind. Ask her if she's ready. I know she knows the question that will follow. It's inevitable. How do you want it? I ask her. And I could have guessed she isn't sure, and at best she can tell me she wants it better than before, so I begin to explore her textures. Tell her I'll move section to section, and if at any point it's not to your expectation, just stop me. She hmm. agrees. So I part her like Moses at the Red Sea. And this is my favorite part, because once we start, there's no taking it back. No map navigating my embarkation. In my hands, she's art and creation. And as I move up and around, side to side, I rely on my eyes to guide me. Her words are few, but I can tell by her reflection in the mirror she's happy. Scene five. She's still wet, but I'm finished. So I ask her, how do you want it styled? She says she hasn't been straight in a while, and I know I can fix that. So I move out my flat iron and lube up her locks and heat protection and glide my iron in a downward direction. Mm. Satisfied with nothing but perfection, I ask her, is this what you needed to fall in love with your outward reflection? Mm. She sighs. Scene six. Once again, her eyes meet mine, but this time, it's different. Her confidence has risen. She says, this is the best haircut I have ever been given. Yes! But she's afraid the hair in her eyes might affect her vision, so she asks me for one last thing. A short, soft bang. Nigh blood. 